when we think of right triangle trigonometry, we want to think in terms of sides and angles. Uh, here we have one angle labeled as alpha. The side that is opposite that angle would be this side. The side that is adjacent to that angle would be this side. And then the hypotenuse in a right triangle is always opposite from the right angle. It's also always the longest of the three sides. Now in trigonometry we define three basic ratios. Uh, the sine ratio, the sine of this angle, is equal to the length of its opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of the angle is equal to the length of its adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And finally, the tangent of the angle is equal to the length of the opposite side from that angle divided by the length of the adjacent side. Now once you know those three basic ratios, uh, you can use those to solve some applied problems. Let's suppose that we have a triangle where this angle is 25 degrees, the opposite side is 10 feet, and the hypotenuse is unknown. And so we would like to uh, compute the value of the hypotenuse. Since we have the opposite side and the hypotenuse, we want to use the sine of the angle. The sine of the angle is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And now to solve for x, we want to think of this as a proportion where we're going to cross multiply. So cross multiplying, we get sine of 25 degrees multiplied by x is equal to 10. And of course, you can think of that as uh, 10 multiplied by 1. Now to solve for x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by the sine of 25 degrees. So this gives us 10 divided by the sine of 25 degrees. Now this you can put into the calculator and you'll get approximately 23.7 feet. Uh, so our missing side is about 23.7 feet.